Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Yes, today we have a 72 hour stream ahead of us. I won't move. I have granola bars and some salt water just in case my throat gets a little tired. So we are well prepared for this adventure. Oh, oh wait, I am not prepared. I forgot to tweet, hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna take a pick and I'm going to type a little cute caption. Hey guys, 72 hours live and put my link. Oh, oh, babyman6969 said, don't put the link in the tweet because it'll just tank your engagement. Twitch user 34 says, uh, that's just a load of baloney? What do I do? How do I make sure people see my go live tweets? Hmm. What should she do? What's the right way? We're gonna dive into this very tepid, honestly silly argument that Twitch Twitter has had since the dawn of engagement. We're gonna see what the vibe is in my Twitter circle and all the while, I'll be giving my spicy opinion on it all. Then we'll wrap up with some of my very own Twitter analytics just to give the final verdict. And if you don't like it, bite me. Some people believe that putting a link in your tweet just does nothing whatsoever. Uh, you know, I mean, Twitter would never suppress other platforms, ever. But some people also believe different. They go so far as to break up links in their tweets, literally putting spaces between each individual piece. And some people will even bury their links in the comments under their main tweet, trying to grasp every drop of engagement or impressions they're after. This Twitter user says, is it true that Twitter suppresses tweets with links? I've noticed it, but people could also not give a crap when I mention I'm streaming or post a video. Anything that takes you away from being on Twitter, the algorithm doesn't like, haha. <laughs> if people are seeing less interaction on their tweet due to a link? Is it not plausible that the users are simply clicking the link and not returning to like retweet after? I feel like the culprit here is laziness. Yes, especially YouTube links are suppressed pretty hard. That's why many post short video clips from their video on Twitter and then include a link to YouTube. This user says, attention all streamers. Please post go live tweets with the URL link in the same tweet. Don't post the go live tweet in the reply to it with the URL link. It doesn't help, but hopefully this does. Confirmed by Twitter Orange. Yep, confirmed. Generally making links easier to get to is going to get you more clicks. And if you want more overall engagement with the tweet, the more human, real-time, relatable it is, the more likely people who see it will do something with that tweet. This article also did a pretty decent dig on the very issue that we're discussing. It talks about how between the algorithmic timeline and a chronological timeline that you see uh, tweets with external links have quite a bit of a difference. Now, of course, we can't control our audience's timeline configuration. You can't hope that users are on a chronological timeline or an algorithmic timeline. You can, however, assume that the algorithmic timeline is the default. Now, I've done both of these. I've put the link in the main tweet and I've put it in the comments, just trying to see what works for me. I've never broken the the link up though. I just feel like that's really unhinged. I'm not gonna copy and paste that and delete, you know, whatever. I, mm -mm. no, it's just not good for both parties. It's too much effort. But I do feel that when I post a link in the main tweet, it just feels like Twitter drowns it beneath the algorithm's unforgiving waves. Or people just really hate blue text. Like, really hate blue text. So, it's either Twitter's fault or it's your fault. Truly, I'm just more, I'm, I'm more inclined to believe that Twitter would prefer people to stay on Twitter 
because I don't have a lot of faith in the general masses. I don't think everybody would organize that well to just decide to hate blue text. So yeah, I feel like Twitter's aim is to keep you on Twitter. Now, whether or not that's anyone else's experience, sure, y'all have that, that's y'all. I'm just talking about me here. Speaking of my experience, let's get to the meat of this video. Yes, I brought my spicy analytics to the table. I gathered several tweets over the course of some months, half where I posted the links in the tweet and half where I posted them in the comments. And this is what I found. I get it, it's not cute. I'll explain. I compared impressions, engagements, and link clicks to see what would happen between tweets with links and without links. I also made sure to measure the percent change between these tweets as well. So of course, you'll get to see if there was an improvement or a decrease. This mostly confirmed what I already suspected anyway. I saw that there was a complete improvement across all three categories when I put the link in the comments instead of putting the link in the main tweet. Impressions, a 75 plus percent increase. Link clicks, 47 plus percent increase. Engagements, 30 plus percent increase. <laughs> what? That's wild. What does this mean? <laughs> well, firstly, let's lay some ground rules. This is only accurate to my Twitter audience. This does not relate in any sort to anyone else. I mean, I'm sure if I got an even larger sample size, my numbers would probably plateau to something a little more reasonable. We also haven't even discussed the other variables, okay? Like, was I cute in each tweet? I mean, I don't know. Or what time of day did I post? Uh, what was the context? You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many little variables that could make this a much more robust and detailed study, but I just took the big three and ran with it. Now, ultimately, again, I could only conclude this stuff for me and posting links in the comments historically is great for me. I mean, I'm probably never gonna, you know, do anything different from now on, but I'll be honest, I did think my link clicks would just be in the trash for my linkless tweets. I thought I wouldn't see any good numbers there, but the improvement is undeniable. Like my audience just loves to work harder. <laughs> they really want to sweat for the content and the impressions, baby. I, wow. You know, honestly, I was just surprised how many people were so convinced that their method was the right method. Your platform is not the same as someone else's. Your data is not the same as someone else's. It may feel like you know all, but it's just not true. And don't let people tell you what's best for your platform. I hope you take this video as a moment to reflect on your data and figure out what works best for you. Clearly for me, I will never post a link in the main tweet ever again <laughs> because it just works for me. How I'm gonna explain that to my sponsors? I have no idea, but I will be able to tell them why every single one of their tweets tank. You know, if you disagree, go ahead, cry about it in the comments. I'm sure you have a really compelling reason as to why Twitter doesn't suppress your links. Go ahead. Tell me if your experience is different. Otherwise, bite me.